Well, welcome today to the Range Cattle REC Field Day that we're focusing <clears throat> on forage production with a special release announcement of Miss Levy Bermuda grass in honor of Dr. Paul Miss Levy, our former forage agronomist who is a faculty member here at the center from 1971 to 2007. Hashtag share your heritage. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Brent Sellers. I am currently serving as the interim center director of the center. I am honored and humbled to be able to fill this role over the past six months and until a new center director is appointed. The search for the new center director position is currently underway and I suspect that the new director will be appointed sometime early 2020. I have several thank yous this morning. One of those is to our sponsors. If you have not been to the sponsor te tent, uh, please do so during lunch and interact with them. I also like to thank Buckhorn Nursery. Uh, they're the ones that allow us to go out every time we have a field day and gather up some plants and bring them here for display and just dress up the tent and as well as inside the Grazing Lands building. I also like to thank the Cloverleaf Foundation of Hardy County for preparing our meal today. I'd also like to thank the faculty, staff, and students for preparing the center and the grounds for today. I'd especially like to thank Andrea Dunlap for handling all the fine details that often go overlooked. I'd also like to thank Julie Warren for her phot photography skills. She is responsible for taking the photograph of Dr. Smith's Levy and Vendor Meany that you see on today's program booklet. Uh, please join me in appreciation for her and Andrea's efforts, as well as the rest of the staff, students, and faculty. There are several people in the audience that I'd like to recognize today as well. Uh, first, with our retirees, we have Alvin English, which I saw him earlier. There he is. You moved. <laughs> and his wife, Teresa. We also have Dr. Paul Mislevy. Our advisory council members that are here today are Cliff Coddington, Edgar Davis, there he is up front, Jim Self, also up front, Terry Weaver, I think is probably still out in the tent, no, he's back there, and uh, Wes Williamson. Is there anybody else that snuck in that I did not see this morning? Okay. I'd also like to recognize Jim and Jan Beckley. I have not seen them yet this morning, unless they've snuck in on me. Um, this is a local a couple that volunteers their time weekly to assist with our international students and their English language skills and involve them in several community events and holiday celebrations. And I'd like to recognize them for their contributions to the center. We'll also have some county faculty here this morning that represent uh, two of our extension groups, the South Florida Beef Forage Program members. We have Clay Cooper from Citrus County, Carla Hernandez from DeSoto, Lindsey Wiggins from Hendry Glades, Charlotte, Charlotte Lee and Collier. I got that backwards, but we'll work on that. Um, Laura Bennett uh, from Hernando, Pasco and Sumter, Taylor Davis from Highlands County, Krista Kirby from Manatee, Lauren Butler, Okeechobee, Bridget Stice from Polk County, and Sarah Bostic from Sarasota. Has anyone else shown up from the South Florida Beef Forage Program? Okay. The Central Florida Livestock Ag Agents Group uh, members, we have a few of those here. Some of them are also in the South Florida Beef Forage Program as well. We have Joe Walter from Brevard County, Ed Jennings from Levy, and J.K. Yarborough from Orange and Seminole. Thank you all for attending this morning. Have I missed anyone from Sea Flag? All right. Some UF IFAS personnel, um, department chair now, John Arthington. Thank you for coming today, John. And Jerry Finkhauser, who you will hear from this morning, he's the assistant director of the Florida Ag Experiment Station. And I think that's all the people, unless I've missed someone. If I have, throw something at me. Haven't felt anything yet? Okay, good. <clears throat> all right, so today you'll be hearing from all six faculty programs at the center. This morning you'll hear from Drs. Bowden, 
and Vendor Meany, as well as our state specialized agent, Chris Prevatt. And this afternoon, you'll be hearing from myself, Dr. Severa, and Dr. Moriel. I think we have a great program for you today, and we hope that you'll learn something and you're able to take that home onto your ranch. On the back of your proceedings, or your booklet today, you'll see some of our research metrics that were put together by the Office of the Dean of Research. This gives you a snapshot of where we focus our efforts on research, how we fund that research, and the output of that research into referee journal publications. If you look at the funding chart, approximately 85 to 90 percent of the funding from state and regional government came from the Florida Cattle Enhancement Board. And we are extremely grateful for this funding source as we're now able to perform research that the Florida cattlemen have identified as research priorities. Without this funding source, it would be extremely difficult to perform this research and provide science-based solutions for your ranches. So we are grateful for the Florida Cattle Enhancement Board. I would be remiss today if I failed to speak about Dr. Hodges, who recently passed away at the age of 107. Many people knew him from within our community and beyond. Of course, he was legendary because of his age. But many of us here today, and we at the Research Center, know there's so much more. Personally, I have to admit that I did not know Dr. Hodges very well, but his presence at the center, along with his daughter, Margaret, and his caretaker, Debbie, was quite common. It was always a pleasure to have them attend our webinars and participate in our gatherings at the center. I took some time this week to reflect on Dr. Hodges' achievements at the Research Center, and I thought about listing all those. But then I went back on YouTube, watched and listened to videos produced by IFAS Communications a few years ago. It's about when Dr. Hodges was 100 years old, which was just before he was inaugurated into the Florida Ag Hall of Fame. I heard him say a number of truths, if you will, and I've decided to share a couple of those instead. One of those truths that he mentioned was that life is complicated. <laughs> that surely is true, isn't it? Another truth was that some things never change. He actually said this several times during that interview. And with one of the times, he referred to the time it took to complete research and extend those results and recommendations to ranchers. That remains true today, as we strive to provide the best science-based in information to our clientele. He continued this truth by stating that some things never change, and sometimes they get worse. This was a reference to the encroachment of weeds, Bermuda grass, carpet grass, and specifically, smut grass. I can't talk without talking about smut grass. That's definitely true, and it's probably why I have a job today. There are more truths that he shared, but I encourage you to go online onto YouTube and go and listen for yourself. Most importantly, I wanted to share what Dr. Hodges felt was his greatest achievement at the center. It wasn't that he revolutionized the beef cattle production or beef cattle production in Florida through his research, which is certainly what he's known for in our circle. But rather, he felt that the greatest achievement was that the faculty at the Range Cattle Experiment Station worked together on projects related to the cow pasture business. That in itself is an achievement, and those were the building blocks for the collaborative nature of work at the research center today. Remember, Doc said some things never change. And for that, I am extremely grateful. Dr. Hodges said in his interview, looking back, I have a better appreciation for what we had done. We probably need to look back more often, because Dr. Hodges' words at the end of his interview were, hey, We've been given a lot. One of the ways that we're honoring Dr. Hodge's memory for his 39-year career at the Research Center is the 39 pots that, of potted pangola digit grass that we, that we have displayed inside the Grazing Lands Education Building. In your proceedings booklet, if you have a green dot on the inside of the back cover, please feel free to take a pot of pangola grass home in honor of Dr. Hodges. Also inside the Grazing Lands building, 
you'll find some additional pictures of Dr. Hodge's time here at the center. All right, how many winners do we have? We should have 39, right? Okay, great. Please take them home. Um, we would also like to take part in the hashtag Share Your Heritage movement initiated by Matt, Purse, Matt Pierce, the current FCA president. We have set up several displays uh, showing some of the history of our center and specifically some of Dr. Kirk's scrapbooks. So please take some time today and enjoy, and enjoy some of our heritage. In closing, I'm not going to talk very long because I'm trying to save my voice. I again thank you for your attendance today. It means a lot to all of us, especially those that have put in hours, weeks, and months of work coordinating today's events. If you have comments and or suggestions, please let us know. Now I would like to introduce our MC for today, Ms. Lauren Butler. Lauren has been with UF IFAS since 2016 as the County Extension Director for Okeechobee County with a programmatic specialization in livestock production. She is an active member of the South Florida Beef Forage Program and is currently the program chair for the Florida Cattlemen's Institute and Allied Trade Show. Uh, on a personal level, Lauren has been very ben beneficial to my program. We have put out several trials already, and she's asked me to come and speak at several field days, and one of the first ones was a pasture weed walk. And I was very excited about it, and I was driving to work on the day of that field day, and I started thinking about things I had to do. So I got to my office, I sat down. About nine o'clock, I get a phone call from Lauren. She goes, where are you? It's like, oh crap. <laughs> so that was the fastest drive to Okeechobee I've ever made. Uh, but we made it, we got the field day done, and I think it's been pretty successful, and we're gonna have another one that's coming March or April. Yeah. She's gonna send me a Siri reminder. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Well, we are nothing in extension if we aren't flexible, right, Brent? So um, as Brent said, there are several members of uh, our extension groups here, and i just like to say on behalf of those groups that we, we really do have a great relationship with our research centers, and especially um, here in Ona. And so we, we do several collaborative events, and um, I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that we have really good teamwork with the, those faculty here and the resources.